I think this IM has been one of the most hyped IMs right now and I can see that I can see I can understand why that happens for some reasons and for me this is also a great IM but it's not a perfect IM it has some caveats it has some weakness that I will tell you later but hey hello and welcome to after sound review and this is my review for the 7 Hertz timeless I think the 7 Hertz have never been this popular before before this timeless but suddenly I don't know what happened whether they changed uh, the tuning manager or their tuning engineer or something like that or it's just a lucky coincidence but for me this 7 Hertz timeless is popular for definitely some reasons okay just like usual, I will review them based on the build, fit, frequency, response, sound, and comparison. It has nice build quality when you take a look at it. It's all made of metal material, which I guess that this is uh, aluminium because it's quite light actually. And this disc that you see, it is actually quite thin. Here you can see that it's only like the face plate of it, but the real body itself is actually a normal sized IM and then the nozzle part is all aluminium you can see that the nozzle filter is like uh, like this with ha it has some pattern and be I can see that behind that filter I can see a lot of silver color of mesh and then after that the they are using MMCX connector and the cable is really really nice I don't feel any microphonics with it and it just feels uh, really flexible in my hand and when i'm using them i can't help but feel how comfy they are even though it maybe doesn't look that comfortable but i have tried them uh, in the commute and then tried them using work and for me they they simply feels really great in my ears I can categorize this i am frequency response to be quite energetic and extended on both sides and are so quite balanced you could see that the elevation here on the base there's elevation too on the two and a half k and the trouble is actually quite extended and the 8k is only a resonance peak and then you can also compare them with this tantium oxygen there's actually some similarity here and there but yeah the upper mid range to travel area is quite different and then it's also almost the same story with this the audio bravery like this again there there are similarities in the base to mid range but upper mid range to treble area there's quite difference here and there but nevertheless for me those three are all quite balanced just really different in the timbre of the driver itself before explaining the sound for me i'm quite shocked because i could still a decent quality from this IM even I'm using my phone only and this is the first time that I get a really decent sound quality over a planar IM using a phone before I tried the planar P1 or P2 from Tin Haifa and for me that's it those IMs are so much harder to drive and this IM it's actually really efficient and easy to drive and of course if I'm talking about sound quality it will be much better if you're using a audio player or the AC of course okay let's talk about the sound of this 7 Hz timeless hmm I should say that the tonality of this IM is really excellent from up to bottom from the bass to the treble all sounds really good they perform it really well it has really great bass, really great mids, and really great treble. For me, it's almost like a complete package. When I'm talking about the bass, the bass is fast, it's tight, but it's deep and punchy at the same time. So it's a really high quality bass that will satisfy a lot of genre. You play EDM, and then you try rock music that needs a lot of uh, speed in the bass area. And for me, no matter what kind of music, for me, they just simply serve that bass really well it's such a fast deep and punchy bass and then the mid-range is clear clean without any sibilance and harshness and it's quite 
well balanced between male and female vocals. And then the trouble is also I feel that it's quite extended with some airiness to it and it has that kind of sparkle that you always hear when you hear cymbals or any percussion but again it is delivered with such smoothness and such refinement that it will satisfy a lot of ears and i have tried a lot of genre with this im okay let's try edms first the edms needs a lot of energy in the bass of course and then you hear that uh, i need that energy also in the treble area when i hear there's the synthesizer and music effect from the music itself and for me i tried griffin i tried the chain smokers i tried marshmallow and for those genre for edm genre it is simply brilliant the bass is punchy and it's satisfying and then there's a lot of detail in the upper mid to treble area when the synthesizers part came in and then the vocal is still clear without again any harshness added and then when i play music like rock music i can still again the the bass is really fast so it's just accompanying that fast paced bass in the rock music and then when i hear vocal focused music from such uh artists like dana crawl or olivia ong or joyce Chu, i mean i tried a lot of acoustic and vocal music the vocals are still sweet smooth and really well controlled without any harshness and then try again musics like classical music like from uh english harmony orchestra or um uh, music like from Hans Zimmer that's a uh, music soundtracks when I hear violin when I hear a lot of percussion in the music effect I feel like the treble is again it's really well controlled it's really well shined when I try Lindsay Stirling for example the speed of the treble is excellent it has really great transient speed when you hear fast notes going on between the violin so for me when I'm talking about the whole frequency and whole performance of the tonality of this 7 hertz, I could say that it is really beautiful. It is simply really really well all-rounded kind of tonality. No matter what kind of genre I tried with this IM, it always feels great. Not only good, it feels great, it feels punchy, it feels energetic, it feels dynamic, but I don't find any harshness right so talking about the tonality alone for me it's just simply well rounded and very excellent but there's a huge but here if you are sensitive to this kind of problem just like me you will hear that immediately what i'm talking about here is the timbre no matter what kind of music from bass mid range to treble area i always that feels that this i am definitely inherently has this kind of what I call like a planar IM timbre. This planar IM timbre is always, I always hear that whenever I tried planar IMs, but uh, strangely, this kind of planar IM timbre doesn't really happen in headphones with planar driver. I think it has something to do with the, uh, that, with the planar driver size itself. But for me, this, planar iron timbre feels light i'm not saying it's thin but it's like you know timbre is a something unique that actually differentiate a kind of a kind of certain characteristic of sound other than the others and for me this kind of timbre is only happening in the planar iron it feels there's a lightness going on in the whole frequency that it's somehow reducing its weight note even though this IM I don't say that its IM is bright um, if you don't understand maybe I could say the analogy is like this when you're playing keyboard keyboard piano and then you're playing a piano I'm a pianist so I definitely know about this when you play the same notes in the keyboard piano it's more artificial it's lighter in sounds rather than the bolder sounding and thicker and much more powerful piano real sound and for me it's like the keyboard i'm not saying it's bad it just have this lightness of timbre going on with the whole frequency because of how fast the transient speed is so yeah you will hear that and for me this kind of timbre 
doesn't really work with some kind of genre or with some kind of instrumentals or with some kind of certain focus. Let me show you an example first with for me when I'm hearing vocalists with a bold, thick vo male voice such as Il Devo or Josh Groban or Michael Bublé always expect that kind of thickness and boldness going on with the voice of the of them and for me this seven hertz timeless somehow the vocal is not thin it's not thin but there's something lacking it's just it's not thick it's not it's not thick enough it's not bold enough when they sang when they sing with whole of their hearts it's just not powerful enough. I just feel that this item is just feels a uh, lighter and lacking in uh, dynamics when I hear those kind of vocal. But other than that vocal, for me, it serves its uh, purpose really well. I mean, it really going well with a lot of genre. But that kind of genre, that thick male voice with net that needs a lot of uh, energy, that needs a lot of boldness and thickness, it doesn't suit this am because of that lightness going on and also it happened with some instruments such as guitar for me the acoustic guitar not the electric guitars for me the acoustic guitars feels again it feels lighter and not as romantic as i would like when i hear like the depa pepe from uh, there are the japanese guitar players for me it's not thick enough it just feels quite thin and not as romantic as i uh would like to be and then when i hear some percussion music and also cymbal it feels like the shimmering of the sizzleness of the you know the trash the crash of the cymbal itself it's just so fast it's just so like you hear that tss, 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 but not shimmering enough so it's not really natural but this kind of critic is just like it's just me nitpicking on some things that i need to critic uh, so I'm just saying that the tonality itself is really excellent but if you are sensitive to this kind of timbre issues you will definitely find them but if you are not sensitive to this kind of timbral issues like BA driver or dynamic driver or planar timbre you don't really get that for me it will be no problem and it's a really excellent well-rounded tonality and then it also has great technicality i mean because of that fast transient speed i feel like there's a lot of details going on and then the separation also the sound state is actually quite good but here's the thing again when i hear the bass from uh, movie soundtracks from orchestra i need it to be have a little bit of decay because that little bit of decay is giving this kind of majestic feeling to the sound it's giving more wow effect especially when i shift when i hearing a uh, hans zimmer soundtrack from like uh, pirates of caribbean or some of the his music for me dynamic drivers giving better more natural decay because of this decay in the timeless is so fast that it's kind of sucking out that wow and majestic effect from the sound itself i'm not saying the sound stage is close it's it's not uh it's not closed feeling i'm not saying this i am is claustrophobic because because of that bass is so fast it doesn't give that wow effect that ache a little bit of echo that i will need in the some uh, orchestral music or movie soundtracks that makes a wow effect to it so for me yes it doesn't this i am even though this has a really well all-rounded for me it doesn't really suit for orchestral music because i'm losing that kind of majestic effect from the decay of the bass itself okay comparing them with my favorite run its price point the tanshim oxygen for me tanshim oxygen has always been my benchmark for the price but not because of its uh, separation or detail level but simply because of its naturalness for me it's really natural but energetic and also kind of engaging it is at the same time for me it's really natural compared to the timeless i cannot lie but the a lot of genre still for me the timbre feels more natural feels it has a more weight note and more convincing boldness and thickness in it in this tanshim oxygen so for me it's still more natural but when we are talking about technicalities and also extension on both ends for me 
this 7 hertz timeless completely sweep the floor it's just much better than this tangent oxygen that at some point tangent oxygen feels quite congested in uh, the vri all the frequency range because of how this IM is really good so in the end for me let's talk about the pros first for me the tonality is almost flawless just if you have that sensitivity with this timber issue it will be a little bit problematic for you but other than that for me the tonality is simply excellent and then the technicality is also at this price point i think you i think you will not get a better im rather than this it's just really well rounded and even i should say it costs only around 200 bucks but if i should say that even if this im costs around 400 or maybe close to 500 bucks for me it's still worth it because how good this IM perform but there's a caveat for sure there's a cons with this IM I should say that this IM still lacking that simply one thing the timber is not natural enough it's not really thick and bold enough for some instruments and for some kind of genre and for some kind of vocal but other than that for the majority of the genre for me this IM is unbeatable at its price point so i think that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any question please write down in the comments below this item is just so great man well a little breaking news here that from a forum from facebook and also from headfi i see as we speak that some people have found that there are actually differences in the nozzle for the timeless and yes it makes a little bit different i heard that from a friend who i trust uh, he said that there's a little bit different around the upper mid and treble area that the one is sounds uh, warmer and so one sounds more energetic but nevertheless this the difference is not night and day so yeah expect a little bit of difference or variance in unit especially in the filter looks and also the sound itself but so far, there's no night and day difference from what I heard.